Hey, welcome back to Coach Ted TV. I uh, wanted to do another um, sort of X's and O's, lax IQ sort of thing. Uh, I got good feedback from a few people just saying that the video on the dodging was um, informative for them. Uh, and I thought I'd make another one this time on defense. And I actually just worked with a team last night on uh, just some defensive concepts and uh, there was one specific thing that I really wanted to uh, to talk about today, and I think it makes it makes like the whole team defense thing a lot easier to understand and a lot easier to execute if we just focus on this simple uh, simple concept. So we were talking about defending specifically from the midfield, uh, and what I really wanted the guys to learn, and this is something that I know a lot of coaches teach early on in defense is the idea of cutting the field in half. Um, so if you cut the field in half the long way, so you make an imaginary, imaginary line right down in the middle, and you basically have the left side and the right side. Um, this allows you to play defense smarter, and it really takes away the guesswork that it is really the sort of the, the basis of the cross defense. Like we, we were talking about the, the dodging, we were saying defense is a reactive position. So they, you know, they give them a long stick or they let them run through the crease. There's some little advantages they give them. Uh, but still defense is still the reactive part of the, uh, of the game. And you don't know what the ball carrier is going to do. So what we try to do defensively is take away the guesswork of what should be happening. And we, you know, we can go and talk about slide packages, we can talk about doubles, we can talk about uh, different systems zone versus man, but I think this concept right here will be one that uh, really makes life a lot easier. So we cut the field in half a lot of ways, you know, left, um, you know, top left, top right. Uh, we always look at it from the goalie's perspective, so um, the goalie's looking out, this is the left side, this is the right side. And Dom Starja, who is, um, was the coach of Virginia for like 30 years, um, I actually got a video of, of, from a colleague of mine, and it was just Dom Starja talking about sort of the fundamentals of defense. And one thing that really stuck out to me, aside from all the drills he explained and all the fundamentals and all the concepts, there's one thing that he said that stuck with me forever. And that was, when we're playing defense, the goal is not to eliminate shots. The goal is to lim eliminate good shots. I thought that was, was super intuitive and, and just so enlightening because I think coming from other sports, you know, Defensively, it's like don't let the guy shoot. You know, don't give up goals. Don't ever give up a shot. Don't ever give up a goal. Shut, shutouts. You know, you look at hockey and soccer. And, you know, even sometimes in football, it can be like you don't let the team ever score. In lacrosse, it's not really going to happen. The chances of pitching a shutout in lacrosse are so slim um, that it's not even really a smart mentality to have. Uh, because it's just kind of like a failing mentality. Like, yeah, it may happen once in a career, but that's not a good measure of your success. So instead of eliminating shots, eliminating good shots. Now, that means if you eliminate good shots, the team that you're playing may still score on a bad shot, but the chances of them scoring a lot on taking bad shots, you're, you're, you're playing the long-term game. You're playing the odds and the percentages of, if we only give them the undesirable low percentage stuff, you're probably going to succeed and win more games than you're going to lose. Uh, so here's what I mean by this. So I'll use red to draw the offensive thing here. So we have this shooter's V, as we call it. So we extended the, the net out to, you know, we'll just say this is 15 yards right here. Anything inside this area, all right, is considered a good shot. So if a dodger can get to this part of the field, you know, that's, that's a great shooting angle, that's a great opportunity to score. So 
this is where cutting the field in half comes in handy. So if we had a dodger that was right here, we'll use an O for him for the offense. Okay? And they got the ball. But I'm playing defense. Now, conventional sort of human intuition says, don't let guy with ball get to ball. Don't let him go there. So we stand like this, right in between the man and the goal. And in a lot of sports, that is the correct mindset. However, what happens in this situation is the Dodger's actually not trying to get to the goal, he's trying to get to this area. We call this over here top side. Okay? So what they can do to us is they can take one hard step down the alley, get us to bite or to acknowledge them, and then they can come back over the top, and now that's what we would call a good shot. So we're essentially getting beat to the right and then back to the left, getting beat two times. So what we want to do is instead, we call this shading and cutting the field in half. If we said, okay, we're going to take away one or the other, and we're going to know what that is. So I stand here and say, I will give the offensive player this direction, but I will not give them this direction. So if this player, offensive player, tries to dodge to this middle part, right, I'm basically standing right here saying, no, you're not coming that way. You know, Getting on hips, dropping them out, little cross check, little pump check. Uh, we know they're not coming this way, but 100% okay with them going this way. So what starts to happen now is, okay, they go, I don't really want to fight through this, this top side here. I'm just going to try to use my speed and beat them. And now all we have to do is just run with them because every step that this offensive player takes down the field, Every step, their shooting game starts to get worse and worse and worse and worse. And if they want to take a shot from right here, a great midfield shooter might hit that. And more power to them. But once our goal, you know, once the, as, as the middies and the shooters get better, the goalies get better. So this goalie is standing right here on his pipe. And really now this shooter has to hit the perfect shot to the far side. So. Really, the percentage goes way down as the shooter goes down the alley. So now what we've done is we've eliminated the good shot. We force them to take either the bad shot, which we hope they do, or hope that they can draw and move the ball multiple times to the backside in order to get this shot. So you're really forcing the offense to, to have you know, three or four or five or six, you know, all six players beat you via ball movement and dodging and re-dodging rather than just letting this guy go one time into the middle of the field to score. So that's sort of the, the high level piece of it is, you know, as they go down the alley, the angle decreases. So let's say we're going to let them have that 100%, 0%, we're going to let them get to the top of the field. Um, and, and that's that. So that is the first kind of idea behind this. The second thing is, you know, whether we are sliding, whether we're sliding adjacent, you know, if we're sliding adjacent here, or if we're sliding crease here in the middle of the field, the slide has to sort of anticipate where the Dodger's going. So again, if we go back to sort of the, the long way, and we're standing here, and this guy makes his move, and this slide from the crease starts to sort of hedge him and show that he wants to go, but then the road, this guy rolls back and comes back to the middle of the field, now we have this guy that's sort of starting to get out of position. There's a lot open over here, and this guy's coming back this way, which is a much easier pass one time that backside as opposed to getting it all the way to the backside through, through X or through multiple passes. So that's sort of the advanced reason.
reasoning, if we just cut the field in half and we stand, stand here, and this guy, sorry, this blue marker sucks here. Right? We stand there and say, you're not coming topside, we'll give you bottom side. Right? Now our whole defense knows where that dodger is going and they're basically just going to run into a double team or a slide every single time. Or if they don't get a slide, they're going to take a low angle shot. And again, it doesn't mean we're never going to get scored on. It just means we're, we're eliminating good looks at the cage or forcing the offense to make more than one pass, more than one dodge to get a good look, which as that happens, the chances of making a mistake, making a bad decision, making an error are going to increase, which is good for us on defense. And, you know, as the game goes on, you, you start to offensively, like, this shot might look a lot better. If they're making, if the defense is making the offense work to find that open shot, to find that good shot, and work and move the ball, this low angle shot down the alley starts to see look a lot, lot better. And then, you know, that's that's playing catch with the goalie. Um, and again, it comes down to that sort of long-term odds and percentages of if we're only giving up that, we might get scored on. That's not the point. The point is the long-term, we're, we're taking away the great shots, which means the chances of the offense scoring on us every time they have the ball is going to go way down. Uh, that's how you win the cross games from a defensive standpoint. So again, this is the philosophy. It has to be executed. We still need to work on our positioning. We still need to work on our footwork. We need to understand how to play good mini defense from a fundamental standpoint, how to play good one-on-one -on -one position. But simply standing in the right spot when we start is going to uh, is going to really uh, help our team defense and just help with what we're trying to do. Uh, that takes some of the guesswork out of things. Uh, one, one last little tidbit here is this, when you shave here, when this guy goes, you can't run hip to hip with him because if you just turn and sprint and you end up here and you're hip to hip, right, this guy can easily roll back, okay? So what we want to do is make sure that we trail a half a step, all right, and continue to bait them to take this shot or go down the alley so that if they do try to roll back, we're standing right there, all right, and we're not letting them get back to the middle of the field. So it's always trailing a half step, uh, and, and the rollback is worse than necessarily getting beat down the alley because, again, that angle is decreasing, the slide is going to be there, there's people standing there. The worst thing that can happen is we're forcing them where we want them to go. And then we overplay, and they come back to the middle for a shot. So, just a a little, I guess, defensive technique thing um, that you should start to try when you're out on the field. You know, get your players to start really overshading at practice. Like, like it is like, you know, even when you're at practice, it may even seem awkward, but like seriously standing like in the middle of the field and just giving them, giving this offensive player a full alley. Right. It's going to feel awkward for a lot of your players if they're not experienced um, or they haven't been taught this before because, again, the, the, the human brain is saying, don't let man get to goal. You know, that's kind of the Tarzan perspective. Is, like, we don't want them to go there because that's bad. That's where the goals are scored. But in reality, it's not really what we're guarding. We're guarding a certain piece of the field. We're guarding this, what we call it, top side. We're guarding the middle of the field. That's where bad is. Bad isn't the goal, bad is the middle of the field. So give that a try, see how it works. Comment below if, if you try it or if you have any questions and I'd be uh, happy to try and answer them uh, and see how it works. Uh, but you know, just simply cutting the field in half is a great way to start teaching sort of position defense for your players.